We know that adolescent binge alcohol consumption can disrupt the brain and behavior long term. So we're trying to understand how certain regions of the brain that are especially vulnerable during adolescence, like the prefrontal cortex, and then we look within the prefrontal cortex to look at specific cell populations uh, to see how they're changed after alcohol exposure. If we can understand what it is alcohol is doing to the brain uh, during adolescence, we can try to figure out how to treat it. We can uh, identify vulnerable populations. Um, we can also try to inform prevention efforts uh, based on what we see in our mouse model. For my PhD, I was interested in how alcohol disrupted gene expression in the brain and how that was related to uh, behavioral outcomes that we saw after alcohol exposure um, in our mouse models. I was excited to come to the Crowley Lab because they specialize in other techniques that are really complementary to what I had learned before. Um, so they specialize in electrophysiology, uh, which is a technique that allows you to uh, look at electrical properties of neurons. So you can see now, for example, how alcohol affects uh, cellular function and activity. You connect that to genetics and connect that to behavior so we can get a more complete picture of what alcohol does to the brain.